What's up everybody? Sam here with Big Wins and today we got the Fanatic Sky Air. They are some of the most versatile boards on the market. They can pack down into a small little bag. They're really awesome beginner boards, boards for, you know, as a family board for the kids, you know, something super versatile travel board. Um, they come in four different sizes. We got the 5.0 here. We've got a 5.4 and then there's a 5.8, not, not pictured here in the 5.10 here. The 5.0 is a 90 liter. 5.4 here is a 104, 5.8 is a 120, and then the big boy in the back here is a 150. So I took this, this 5.0 down to the Caribbean this spring. Um, it was an awesome travel board, and it, it really kind of exceeded my expectations on, on how it was going to perform. You know, I, I was kind of looking over the fence at these inflatable boards, kind of you know, questioning, you know, I, I knew it was going to be really floaty. I knew it was going to be really easy on the body and a really stable board. Um, and they are pretty stiff. I, what I was questioning is, you know, having so much air between your foot and your foil, how that would feel being, you know, connected to your foil when you're riding and how they would release from the water. The 5.0, it released from the water fine. That was not an issue at all. Um, and it really performed well enough to have tons of fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to even ride. I couldn't even bring, you know, any board that had a length of, you know, more than four foot six on the little prop plane that I was taking down to the Caribbean. Um, you know, do you sacrifice a little bit when you're up on foil in, in performance? Sure, you do. Um, but the versatility of the board for someone getting into this into the sport, um, it'll always stay in your quiver as a travel board. You're you know, it'd be great for kids. You know, it's, it's bomb proof. You don't need a, you don't need a board bag. Like, you know, you're not going to ding this thing up. You can chuck it in the back of your truck. You can let your kids go romp around on it and have fun. It's really easy on the knees, on the body, if you fall on it. Um, so they're really awesome board like that. Sacrifice a little bit of performance when you're actually on foil, but that's really the only place you lose. Um, so, The bottom of these boards, right, they have a carbon plate in the bottom to help, uh, you know, keep that feel and rigidity where the foil connects because that's where the most, uh, you know, stress is on the board. Right? They have a carbon plate. They still have, you know, your mass track so you can slide up and down. They have a little handle here that, you know, while it's a little bit thin and you kind of need some rock climber hands, um, it, it's still, you know, it's plenty to get up and down from the water's edge, back and forth from the beach. Here's the bag that they come in, right? This is the bag, it's got wheels or a backpack, right? In this bag, I was able to pack a board here, my Cabrina foil, and this is a three piece. I was able to pack that down with my girlfriend's lift foil and two wings, and it was just a touch under 50 pounds, all in this bag, I mean, that's that's pretty sweet as a travel board um doesn't get much better than that so yeah that's the fanatic board if you guys have any questions about it um and still you know want to learn a little bit more techie about it um give us a shout out big wins i really think this is like the ultimate family board it, it, it's it's perfect it's bomber it's easy on the body it's got plenty of float for its size you know and then you can also travel travel with it to wherever you're going